Welcome back guys. This is Jay from the Crypto Arc and I'm gonna give you an update on one of my favorite picks for, for this upcoming bull run, which is all about utilities. Before I get started, I just want to say this is not a financial advice video. I'm just doing this for entertainment purposes. So I hope you like it and let's get started. So it is ping, all right? So as you can see, um, around September or so, that's when it first started and then the beginning of October, that's when it peaked and then it's been on a decline since then. So since mid-October up until now, so it's basically almost two months, this thing has been accumulating in this range right here from 50 cents to where it is at now, which is like around 21 cents, right? And the current market cap for this is 221K. So it's 200,000, okay? Just to um, round it. And the reason why I love this is because it has artificial intelligence and all that stuff. So it's playing along with the artificial intelligence niche. And also the whole idea of trading bots has been, um, it's been increasing throughout the months. And Ping, this project right here, is, isn't the only one. There are a bunch of other projects out there that they are partners with. Like, let's take a look at Unibot over here. The current market cap for this is 54 million. All right, they're doing almost the same thing. And I think Ping is the first one to move into this um, artificial intelligence auto trading bot, right? And Unibot also has a similar supply and circulating supply as uh, Ping. Another project that they're partners with is Moonbot, which has 1.6 million supply. And once again, 1 million supply, all right? Very similar. Another project that I was involved in when it comes to uh, trading bots is Aimbot. What I love about this one is that you just have to hold the project and then uh, whatever revenues it makes from its uh, auto trading, um, it, they would share it amongst the uh, token holders. Mm -hmm. So in a way, it kind of acts like dividends, right? Mm -hmm. And this also has a similar supply. So like, it almost seems like all these trading bots they're going to cater towards like a small, I mean, um, a specific few people. And if you're not in it early, then you're going to have to look for another one that's, you know, in the process of developing. So just recently, they've released their, oh my bad, their beta for their auto trading bot. And I am involved in their uh, Telegram group and they, the devs, they're very active, the moderators as well. So that's a good sign. Uh, the community itself they're also speaking quite a lot and they're consistently developing um, ever since I got in around November uh, the developers have been consistently talking about this auto trading bot and they just recently released the beta All right so like I said earlier it's been in an accumulation stage for more than a month now and I do believe it has a lot of potential and again Unibot has a 51 million market cap right and they are partners with them and it's a similar project so if ping were to get similar market cap with the uh, as unibot that is almost like what oh boy let me math here to like around 200 to 250x in terms of market cap now in terms of price action i'm not entirely sure but i do believe that with unibot's um 54 cents price compared to what 22 cents there is a lot of price potential uh difference there right or volatility but once again guys this is not financial advice i'm using this um as one of my positions for this up and coming bull run which is all about utilities all right so let's get to the actual uh documents for ping which is right here pingerc.com i'm just in there at the white paper part all right, so this auto, uh, it's still in beta stage, all right? So there are, there are going to be some uh, fixes that they will need to implement, but they're, gonna, they're going to need the help of the community to uh, basically find those holes so that way they can patch it, all right? Developers are always doing that, and like I said before, they're always um, active in the community, especially in the Telegram group, because I'm in there. I, I read the messages every single day. All right, so if you are using this, um, I highly recommend that you, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. 
all right because we don't know what could happen um there are times when uh like ethereum's gas fees which is the thing um i think this is this place with uniswap yeah the gas fees can be quite high so you gotta keep that keep that in mind so don't put in all your liquidity in one trade because you're not gonna have enough uh, fees to swap out of it, all right? So this is how it would look like if you were to use a Telegram. So their Telegram is linked toward, uh, to the um, auto trading and the interface would look something like this. It would give you the buy amount, the GUI, which is like the ETH, um, level congestion or I don't know what the exact definition for it is but like the higher the gray the more gas fees you pay right that's crazy slippage right there so <laughs> uh, I don't recommend that but anyways this is just an example of what they have so uh, I guess this is the parameters that they set as an example all right how do I get out of this all right when turned on you'll get a question mark I mean a question mark check mark right and also um, the instruction instructions for this is going to be in the telegram group as well if you get confused I'm just showing you the surface level stuff right auto sell oh yeah it has auto buy and auto sell and believe it or not they are also partner with um, what I call it other de decentralized finance um, projects to help store certain tokens and stuff PNL monitoring profit and loss and this is how it would look like if um, you know you take a trade it would show your wallet the holdings the initial um, investment and where it is at currently so in this example person put 0.01 ETH and currently it is up by 51 percent and the uh, Wonka which is the project or the ticker for the project market cap for it is this 1.7 mil right and then all the other ones are also present over here so you can manually uh, sell positions if you need to all right uh, trade monitor options and also this is my favorite part right here if you guys want to play with this all right and start uh, and start making some uh, you know gains with ethereum and they have been making gains guys they also posted in their uh, Twitter I've been following them since uh, early November and yeah I, I am uh, quite quite happy to see a lot of gains like I think the recent one they had was like a times 15 most of the ones they post are like they start they find the project when it's like around a hundred thousand market cap and then they would sell around over a million or sometimes five million and they have found some crazy ones all right so I do suggest you guys visit their um, not only telegram but also the Twitter because that's where they post most of their gains if you're unsure of the what I call it, the performance of their artificial intelligence all right so yeah once again they do have a referral system so if you guys want to get started with this one I do have a link to this referral uh, code in the description below and also in the comments so that's it about this one all right once again this is just in the beta um, it is gonna take the help of the community to basically uh, improve on the product all right so let's get some other news so JP Morgan has tripled its internal crypto team all while its CEO bashes Bitcoin. So when the media is telling or um, displaying FUD against crypto guys, it's usually a sign. I mean, it's usually a bullish sign, right? And it's been an ongoing pattern with this guy. He'll say he'll talk crap about crypto and then all of a sudden crypto starts rallying. And then he starts praising crypto. Then <laughs> crypto will start going down. And that, that's how the media plays with it, guys. Because they understand that the majority um, are not paying attention because they're distracted with a bunch of other things. So when they see it in the media, they become exit liquidity because they're going to start buying in. They're going to th start thinking, oh, if they buy at the top, 
that they're going to get those, um, uh, I don't know, like 1,000x gains or 300x gains. Like the people that purchased during the bear. But it is during the bear market that you win because you're getting the assets at a low and then you sell them at a high. All right? That's how this game goes. People are here in the market to make profits. All right? So don't be fooled by the media narratives um, in terms of where we are at right now in terms of the crypto market. I still do think that these are great lows. Um, pump and dumps are, or dumps are definitely expected still up until like around mid-March. I think that should be like the biggest dump. So something's going to happen in the economy next year. And then from there, it's going to start rallying up. All right. It is expected that the Fed or yeah, they're going to cut rates starting next year. And it usually means, you know, more money coming in, all right, in layman's terms. All right. Also, uh, later on today, um, FOMC meeting. So Jerome Powell is going to be in the market, I mean, uh, in the TV, talking some good stuff, hopefully. But we actually don't know what's going to happen, all right? And we don't know how the market is going to react. But currently, according to the 10-year yield, which has been decreasing for the past, it's not even a day, but from what I see, during the day right now, it's been going down, which usually means it's a good sign for the market. It's going to pump up. And it's usually in tandem with Jerome Powell being in TV. Whenever he's on TV, the market has to be in the greens. All right. So current high was around uh, October, mid-October. All right. So from there, the yield rate was high. And then... Right when it kept going down, that's when you saw the market started going up as well. So 10-year yield is the current benchmark or the one of the biggest benchmarks when it comes to trading. So keep that in mind. When this is down, it's market positive. And then when it starts going up, it is market negative. All right. Well, that's all I have for you for this one. Remember, Ping is a project. It's an auto trading bot. Similar to Unibot, Moonbot, and also Aimbot. All right, it's not the only one. More are probably going to come, but in terms of being the early mover, Ping is one of them. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you do like this video.